in this video we're going to see uh, how to find area of a sector without uh, knowing the formula using uh, ratio and proportion okay so let's uh, read the question find uh, the area of a sector formed by an arc subtending an angle of 65 at the center and having a radius of 12 centimeters. Now, a sector is always a part of a circle. I've drawn a figure, so this is a circle, and we want to find the area of this sector, so this shaded part. This is what we want to find, okay. So here, the angle uh, that this arc, this is arc AB, is subtending an angle of 65, so theta is 65, and the radius of this circle is 12 centimeters. So you want to find this shaded area. So we're going to use logic or ratio and proportion. So let us say angle, let us make two uh, columns, say one for angle and other for area. So think about like this, suppose imagine this is a wiper and it rotates the circle. So when this wiper OA goes anti-clockwise like this, you can, can also go clockwise. By convention, anti-clockwise is generally that's used. So if it goes uh, it rotates one full circle it has covered how much degrees okay one full circle is a well one full turn is 360 degrees so when it does turn 360 degree what's the area that it, it has covered the area it has covered it covered covered is the area of the circle and you should know area of a circle is pi r squared now our question is, if this shaded area corresponds to how much angle, or in other words, to cover this area of the sector, this wiper AB has to cover how much degree? So well, that is 65 degrees. So that is the area of the sector, area of the required sector. So there is formula for area of sector, but I would like to do without and uh, thus, now to explain the next step, I want you to look at this example. I made up this example. Say you've got five t-shirts, five t-shirts cost 132.5. So the question is 12 t-shirt cost how much? So this is an example of ratio and proportion. So this is a ratio. This ratio is equal to this ratio. Okay, so this, so I can say this ratio is five over 12 is equal to 132 over X. So then you can cross multiply. So this goes and gets multiplied with phi, and this goes and multiplies, gets multiplied with 132.5. So the next step is 5x is 12 times 132.5. And to get rid of this 5x, I have to divide this side by phi. So to divide this side by phi. Okay, so phi and phi gets cancelled, and you can check this on the calculator. Okay. Or uh, so this is the same approach we're going to do for this example. So this is an example of simple ratio and proportion. So this becomes 360 over 65 is equal to pi r squared. Okay, so pi r squared is over area of sector. Area of sector. So let us cross multiply. So let me delete this now. So area of sector, area of sector uh, would be cross, let us cross multiply. So when you cross multiply, so 360 times area of sector, area of sector is pi times 12 squared. R is 12. So in place of R, I'm putting 12 squared times 65. So I'm going to divide this side by 360. I'm also going to divide this side by 360. So we may need a calculator. So this and this gets cancelled. So area of sector or the required sector is pi times 144. 12 squared is 144 times 65 divided by 360. So let me use a calculator. So shift pi times 144 times 65 
divided by 360. Let, let me write in 2 dp. So this is 81.68 centimeter squared. So this is, what was the answer? I forgot the answer, 81.68. So the area is 81.68 centimeter squared in 1, uh, sorry, 2 dp.